Yesterday, Arturo Coello en Agustín Tapia won the World Padel Tour Chile in three sets against Alejandro Galán and Juan Lebron. But do you know what really happened in that final and all the controversy? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. First of all, I would appreciate it a lot if you subscribe to the channel because I didn't have time even to save my beard just to prepare this video. Saying that, before the final, everyone thought that it was going to be an epic match. But no one could predict what really happened. So let's start with the analysis. The first set was no more mystery than Coelho and Tapia won 6-4 with a break in the last game of the set. But everything changed in the second set. Coelho and Tapia made a break and they were 5-3 with his turn to serve. So in other words, Lebron and Galan were forced to do a break to be alive on the match. In that game, everything was normal until the 30 all where this happened. Oh. 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 First, the ball is impossible to Galan to see it, but Coelho, Tapia and Lebron assume that it was in. The problem at the beginning of all the controversy is that the referee considered it out as he said 30-40, that means two break points for Lebron and Galan. But the butterfly effect continues when Coelho, Tapia and their coach didn't say anything about what the referee just said. And if you don't claim before the next point starts, that means you assume the referee was right. And here is the problem. So for Coelho, Tapia and Lebron, that ball was in and that meant that the next ball is gonna be a tournament point for Coelho and Tapia. But the only one who understood what the referee said was Galan. Furthermore, the score in the stadium zone 30-40, but on the TV signal as it different, it zone 40-30. With all this and no situation at the moment for the players, Coelho and Tapia surf again. Tapia in that point did another winner and there is where everything exploded. Lebron moved forward to congratulate Coelho and Tapia but not Galan as he was outside the court trying to reach the Tapia's mass. And when he returned to the court, this happened. <laughs> La derecha, la derecha da igual, pero no. Pero ¿por qué mala? Es imposible, no, o sea, no te vas a comprar esto. O sea, tú sabes la locura que estás diciendo ahora mismo, o sea. Ya, pero. Ya, pero confundirte puede ser un torneo. Una semana aquí en Chile. No puede ser, o sea, yo no puedo entrar a la pista y volver a tirar otra pelota, no puedo. Pero fue, ¿qué fue? No, yo no sé lo que está ahí. Yo la escribí y la canté 3040. Es lo que no entiendo. Pero yo no la he visto y tú te he visto celebrar. No tiene sentido nada. Sí, de revisión de vídeo, vas a ver que la pelota es mala y la mala. Vamos ¿Cómo no vamos a poder? Que se repita esto y tú a cantar.
So the situation there was really clear. The referee made a mistake and the only way to continue playing is with a golden point, 40 all. And here is where two different moral ways are open in my opinion. First is when you accept that you already lost. It doesn't matter the referee mistake and when you have to return the next ball, you are gonna miss it. Second, the referee can make mistakes but you are not gonna embrace it so you still continue playing as nothing had happened. So, as you probably know, Lebron and Galan decided to go with the second option. And in my opinion, fortunately for the referee and for Coelho and Tapia, finally Coelho and Tapia won the match. What would I do if I were Galan? I would think to don't do things to other people that you wouldn't want them to do to you. So, if I were Galan, I would miss the return. I would consider that Coelho and Tapia won already me. So they deserve the win. But that is just my opinion. I'm willing to know yours and please leave it in the comments. So this is all the controversy regarding the World Pile Tour Chile. So please like this video and share with your friend that didn't understand anything what happened yesterday. So thank you for watching the video and if you have any doubt please leave it in the comments. I will try to answer every one of you and see you in the next video. Ciao!